Hey guys, it's Emily, and I just posted episode number five of the Occult Tennis Podcast over on Rockfin. Uh, this time, my good buddy and co-matrix masher, Robert Phoenix, joined Eric and I to uh, look at the astrology of the young tennis phenom, Carlos Alcaraz. Um, there's a clip right here that you guys can check out and then head on over to Rockfin to watch the full episode. Link is down below. Have a great day. Uh, okay, so we're going to look at a synastry chart. And the, the, when, I, when I finally just put Freddie Mercury's chart into chart form, and I wasn't just kind of looking at it, um, there are some details here that are very, very interesting. All right. Ex extremely interesting. So let me let me fire it up here. So what is this you did to it? Sinistry. 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 With, Sinistry. With okay. Yeah. So um, Freddie Mercury is going to be on the outside, and uh, Carlos is on the inside. So one of the things that that I noticed when I fired up Freddie Mercury's chart is this South Node and Pluto conjunction. So this is Carlos's Pluto, and this is. Uh, the South Node, right? And that South Node usually represents like past lives or kind of been there, done that. So Freddie Mercury is really dialed into like the whole Gemini thing in his lifetime, trying on different identities, different sexuality. Uh, you know, that's the nature of Gemini, right? And but and he's not rooted in a sense of like religious tradition or morality or these are the things that that Sagittarius like you know traffics in. They're like he's he's that's not for what Freddie Mercury's into in this lifetime. He's like into the whole Gemini trip. So, he, but what's interesting is that this is um, Carlos is Pluto, and it's actually conjunct Freddie Mercury South Node. Now, Pluto is one of those planets that's kind of it's transgenerational. So you can find anybody from like 2003, and they would be around Freddie Mercury South Node. So it's not necessarily. Um, personal we won't call it personal but we could look at it in an oddly generational kind of way that you were talking about like the songs and the soundtrack and the things that are coming through this individual and pluto because pluto is, is transgenerational which is kind of an interesting thing so this gets back to well are they trying to shape him in a way that he is being programmed to be more like Freddie Mercury and to be more on this Gemini tip. But clearly there's something, there's something here, right? Yeah. And, and, and even if you look at, again, if you look at the numbers on Spotify, and Spotify is not some kind of boomer or yuppie experience, although they do listen to it. Spotify is experienced by millennials and even Gen Z, right? Um, Queen, is the most popular band to